Okay, this is um, a video for to answer a few specific questions that I've been getting, um, and I've had quite a few uh, similar ones about guitars. Well, sort of mainly guitar effects, really. And so specifically, I've I've just I've had someone asking me, um, you know, what what pedals they should be looking at using to to expand the sound. So it's a it's a very broad subject. Uh, I won't talk for too long and bore you, but um, rather than replying to people on YouTube or on Twitter, um, I'm starting to sort of favour just doing quick videos like this because it's, it's a lot easier and a lot quicker to to talk about things and um, get my point across. So, right, okay. Um, so really with guitar effects, I mean, it's difficult for me because I just... You know, I just naturally sort these things out. I naturally had a strong idea of what I wanted to do. Now, listen, um, you know, I never don't think I started playing guitar with a view to being in a band, if you know what I mean. I don't, that was never an idea initially. But even when I first started, I was obsessed with, you know, delays and reverbs and things like that and just odd sounds. Just odd. And as I said in the other video, a lot of my sounds are presets from multi-effects units. Do you know what I mean? Which don't have to break the bank. Um, they're not particularly expensive. So I'm sorry, I may, I can't remember your name, but uh, you literally just asked me, oh, depends on how I release this video, but you literally just asked me what pedals you should be looking at to sort of make, make your sound, you know, add, add another dimension to your sound. And if you're asking me that, you know, if you're asking me and you're wanting my specific advice on that, then one second, sorry, I've just got to unstick my cat's foot from her bed. I'm sorry. Have you done that deliberately? Let me get it off then. You idiot. Sorry about that. My cat likes to stick herself and then moan because she's stuck. Anyway, right. That's really thrown me off. So effects, yeah, right. So it's if you're asking me what effects you should be using... Well, all right, I'll tell you what I think you should be using. You know, if you if you want to sound like me or you want to do what I did, because you don't necessarily have to sound like me. Right, okay, so this would be my advice to someone who's asking me what pedals to buy. I wouldn't buy separate pedals if you want to do what I did. I feel weird looking right there. So I'm going to look in the middle. I'm going to look, sorry. Um, if you want to do what I did, don't bother with separate pedals. Just go and get yourself something like, I'll have to look, maybe I'll put in the comments or something, this specific model, but I were looking at one myself. I mean, I've got this right down here. I've got this, you know, this fractal Axe FX box, which is amazing, but they're very, very expensive. You don't need to, you don't need that. You don't need that at all. If you know, if you've got amps and things, then just get yourself, you know, one of the decent Zoom. Zoom are a good one or Boss. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not up on all the latest stuff really in the, in the game because I've been out of it so long, but Boss were always good, Zoom's always good. The good thing with Zoom as well is it's a reasonable price. I mean, look, again, you have to walk your own path in this regard. You know, if you're, if you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, I always wanted to try effects, but he says, it, he says it's not cool. You know what I mean? Or if someone somewhere has told you that using effects is not cool, I, do, I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that information at all because I'm struggling to see where, I'm struggling to see A, why it would matter what anyone else says. And I'm also struggling to see B, why you wouldn't sort of just think, well, it comes back to A, why you wouldn't just sort of think, um, I don't care what you think. I suppose it depends who's telling you really, but listen, there's no right or wrong way to play guitar or make sounds. And I tell you what, anyone who tells you that there is, has got no place in music. Certainly no place anywhere near me. Um, you know, everyone should do whatever the hell they want to do. If you want to play guitar, you know, like like James Blunt. If you want to play guitar like James Blunt, crack on. Do you know what I mean? I, crack on, that's fine. But that person that wants to play like James Blunt should never turn around to, I don't know, Steve Vai not that, you know, whatever, or Jimi Hendrix, or anyone else and say, well, you're doing it wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know. I just find it perplexing. But maybe I maybe I look at things in a very different way to most people. I'm not sure. But I, I keep getting distracted again. You know me. But um, going back to it, I just wanted to make right. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. Let's try and stick to the point. So what I would do is go and buy, I think it's about 220 quid, this Zoom pedal. Um, and all you do then is you get your pedal and you'll have, I don't know, 150, 200 sounds. I don't know how many come preloaded on them. It'll, it'll depend which model you buy as to how many sounds you get. You know, some you might get 400, some 300, 200, 100. On the cheaper ones, you might only get 50. But on all of them, you will have the ability to make the, make the sounds yourself. So, again, going back to what I did, I got a pedal, a multi-effects pedal, you know, what was it, a um, Digitech RP5 and then a Zoom 8080. You plug it in, you sit on the floor, and you go through the presets. Do you know what I mean? You, you go through the presets. You don't even have to get the manual out and read how to operate the thing if you don't want. Like I said, every one of these multi-effects units will come with banks and banks and banks of presets, which are sounds that are, have already been created for you that are massively interesting and as i say most of my early songs and early sounds came from the presets you know i go through the presets so if you've got 100 you go one spring 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 don't like that two spring don't really like that three spring oh that sounds good it's as simple as that only you can tell yourself what sounds good um you know like i say no one can tell you what you should sound like. I don't know it. It's hard to get my head around it, really. So again, in, in your particular case, my friend, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, but um, you were saying you've got a chorus pedal. You know, that's that's good. The chorus pedal's fine. That'll add, that'll add texture to your sound, certainly. It'll make it sound a bit different. But, I mean, that's not the same as, you know, getting a multi-effects unit and putting a ring modulator on something. For example, new instrumental. A lot of ring, ring modulators on that. And I've only learned what those sorts of things are, the sorts of things are by messing about with these multi-effects units. So as I say, you, uh, right. So another thing, a lot of people are probably put off by um, the fact. Oh well, I can't operate that. I won't be able to work that. I'm useless with this sort of stuff. Do you know what I mean? I just work out a way to make it work enough for me. And as I say, going through presets is literally pressing a button. That's all there is to it. And if you've got 400 or 300 of them, you're bound to find, find a sound in there that you won't even have to touch. You will find a sound and you will start playing somewhere and away you go. I suppose, again, it's... How long is this video? I don't want to make it too long. Um, it depends what you want to play like. As I say, if you're playing basic chords like James Bond or like any, and like any rhythm guitarist, I don't know. I don't like putting guitarists in brackets or even styles, but if you're just playing basic chords then it might not be worth looking at a multi-effects unit because a lot of it could make your playing sound washy. But if you're playing riffs, oh, it totally depends how you approach guitar. There's no um, hard and fast way to tell you to do it, unfortunately. Um, all I can do is give you my advice, which will be go buy a multi-effects unit, Zoom, whatever, and sit on the floor and go through presets and play your guitar. And I've no doubt you'll get inspired. That's all it was for me, literally. I just found sounds that inspired me. And then with that, created riffs. Try and keep this under 10 minutes here. Uh, with those sounds, created riffs. That's how I, I inspired myself. And um, yeah, that's how I'd do it. You could buy a few separates. But it's a bit, again, this is just my point of view. But with separates, there's too much messing about. Especially if... I mean, if you only use one combination throughout and turn it on and off, fair enough. But if different songs have different bits in them and, you know, different um, parameters being changed to alter the sound, you just need, you need a multi-effects unit. I don't get it. I don't, it, it's a, there must be someone in your band. I'm sorry, I'm not talking specifically about your case, but, well, as I said earlier in this video, if there's someone saying you can't do that because... No, sorry. I don't, I don't get that. Just do what you want. If you want to sound like The Edge, get loads of delays and, you know, that's what I did. Except they were all in multi-effects units, all delays, any, any delays you want. Uh, so I don't want to ramble too much, so I'll, I'll leave this one there. It's just going to be 10 minutes. 
So yeah, my advice to you, go get multi effects unit and play with it on floor and don't worry what anyone else says. No. There you go.